Nice day in Cincinnati. Unfortunately, did not go well for the Cubs in game one earlier. A 9-1 loss to the Reds. So they'll try to win the nightcap and earn a 2-2 split in this four-game series. Welcome to Cubs baseball on ABC7. Jim Deshays and Len Casper. So the Cubs wrapping up a road trip so far. It's just been mediocre, 3-3. Three three. Yeah, there's a run of games against teams with sub-500 records. Looking to take advantage of that so far. Uh, not so much. Uh, pitched very well, certainly in Atlanta. The bats have shown some life here in Cincinnati, but overall still struggling a little bit. Kyle Schwarber obviously has provided a big boost. Dexter Fowler's been swinging a little bit better of late. This would be a nice one to get here tonight. Middle of the order has been really good for the Reds in this series, in particular Joey Votto and Todd Frazier. Yeah, Joey Votto back to being Joey Votto. He's getting on base. He's hitting for power. Five out of 12 in this series so far with a home run. That came in the, the first game here today. He's scored five times. Todd Frazier, an all-star, six out of 12 in the series. He's had some very big hits for Cincinnati. Cubs 50 and 43, Reds 42 and 50 going into the final game of this set. And we'll get into tonight's pitching matchup when we return moments away from Cubs baseball. Live music is created every day at RME. The RME enjoys a unique niche in the Quad Cities and strives daily to maintain a vital presence through our mission as a nonprofit performing arts center, providing opportunities for the community to listen to, learn about, and play music. Summers are perfect for outdoor family fun, and the Des Moines area has a wealth of events and activities that can keep the most active families busy from morning till night. Make plans today to visit Des Moines, and be sure to include a visit to Adventureland Resort, including Adventureland Park, Adventure Bay Water Park, and Adventureland Inn. Come share the fun with family and friends, and make the memories of a lifetime this summer at Adventureland. Chevy deals are in the house. The green Chevy powerhouse. Drive a new Chevy with 0% financing for 72 months and no payments till fall. Save $11,000 on a new Silverado Crew Cab with All-Star or Custom Sport Truck Package. Or $10,000 on a new Silverado Double Cab with All-Star or Custom Sport Truck Package. Don't worry about your credit. We finance your future, not your past. At the green Chevy powerhouse. You gotta go green. Green, green, gotta go green. Choosing from the $4 menu is not for the indecisive. Incredible values await. Behold the original double steak burger meal. The taco salad and chili cheese footlong meals. The garlic double steak burger meal. What's that sound, master? Kung Fu Elbow. Try it. The $4 menu, where all meals are under $4. At Steak and Shake. Chicago Cubs baseball on ABC7 is brought to you by Mercedes-Benz, located on the web at mbusa.com. By DeVry University, different on purpose. By American Family Insurance, insure carefully, dream fearlessly. By Dodge, born Dodge. And by Southwest Airlines, book your low fare now at southwest.com. Cubs and Reds to wrap up this series. Reds have taken two of the first three. So we're going to check out the Cadillac pitching matchup. The 26th men in this day-night doubleheader. It'll be a sinker baller for the Cubs and a left-hander for the Reds. Uh, yeah, Dallas Beeler making his fourth Major League start here uh, this evening. He's the guy who's been called up as the 26th man. He did the same against the Cardinals back on July 7th. Worked five innings, allowed two runs while striking out six. And for uh, Cincinnati, it's the uh, Chicago area left-hander Tony Singrani. Here are his numbers against the Cubs in his career. Six starts, four times out of the pen. One and three with a 450. We should note uh, before game one, Clayton Richard was designated for assignment, and that fifth starter spot right now, I would say up for grabs. So Dallas Beeler might be pitching for a spot. Absolutely up for grabs. He threw the ball well last time out. If he pitches well here tonight, he looks like he'll get an opportunity to seize that job at least for a little while. Off day tomorrow. Cubs back home to play the Phillies and the Rockies, but first things first, First, and we've seen some terrific glove work in this series. The Cubs taking on the Cincinnati Reds coming up next. 
Shopping for a high-quality, low-priced used vehicle? Don't waste your time. Get to Green Buick GMC's Great American Sale and get our worry-free three-day exchange policy and free maintenance on every high-quality pre-driven vehicle. Over 800 in stock, 97 under 10,000, and 279 under 20,000. Plus, we'll buy from you even if you don't buy from us. Don't waste your time. Get the best price up front at Green Buick GMC Great American Sale. You gotta go to Green. Green, Green, gotta go. So this insurance adjuster, he comes to my house, he sits on my couch, and he tries to tell me that this small check is all my case is worth. I called 800-800-5678. Lawyers that do more than just talk. Not only did they get me what I deserved, they got me a lot of money. They have the experience to handle cases like mine. Cases like yours. They know how to stand up to the insurance company. Tell them you mean business. Call 800-800-5678. Pupi and Abraham right now. On the next two and a half men, Charlie's fallen, and he can't get it up. This was a sexual injury. <laughs> well, thank goodness you're okay. So it's Alan to the rescue. Best I can tell, it's a spasm between L4 and L5. Are you a doctor? Yes, I'm a chiropractor. So no. Turn your hand across. <clears throat> You have very warm hands. Again? You have very warm hands. On Two and a Half Men, Thursday at 9 on the Quad Cities CW. Two and a Half Men presents Manly Rules of the House. Number 30, think before you drink. Can I have some of that? Beer? No. Why not? Well, it's like this. Alcohol is for people who can afford to lose a few brain cells. <laughs> yeah, so? I rest my case. It's two and a half men. A full hour, weeknights at nine on the Quad Cities CW. This is Chicago Cubs baseball on ABC7. This high definition broadcast is brought to you by Xfinity. Xfinity, your home for the most. Live sports. Now the Cubs starting lineup is brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Dexter Fowler and Starlin Castro did not play in game one, but they're in the lineup for game two. Rizzo, Soler, Denorfia in the middle. Addison Russell moves up. He's been in a really good stretch. David Ross, the former Red, catching Dallas Beeler. Jonathan Herrera in for Chris Bryant, playing third. Defense for the Reds, it's brought to you by Nissan. Uh, Bert and Bruce had the opener off. They're back in there, and they flank Billy Hamilton. Infield, Frazier, Suarez, DeJesus Jr. Spells Phillips. Joey Votto at first. Brian Pena behind the plate. And uh, Tony Singrani, 26-year-old lefty from Lincoln Way Central High School in New Lenox, Illinois. Is on the mound. He's 0-3 at the 347 ERA. His work with the Reds this year has been as a reliever. He was down at AAA after being injured on a rehab assignment, was working as a starting pitcher there, getting stretched out. Not sure what the future holds for Singrani, whether he will get a chance to stick in their rotation or move to the pen or just go back to AAA. But he's had success at the big leagues before, still just 26 years of age. Now the umpires, Manny Gonzalez behind the plate, Paul Schreiber, Fielding Culbreth, and Adam Hammery who actually ejected Joe Madden in game one after a balk call at first base. And we'll get our first pitch weather brought to you by Four Seasons Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing. For all the right reasons, call 866-4-SEASONS. It's 81 lovely. degrees. Mm -hmm. Beautiful night to play. The Reds ambushed uh, Kyle Hendricks in the bottom of the first uh, this afternoon. See if the Cubs can jump on Singrani early. So the southpaw to the plate, and we're underway. Uh, 23 innings at the big league level this year, 17 walks for Singrani, 26 strikeouts. So there's a lot of swing and miss, but he will walk you if you're patient. Likes to work the upper reaches of the strike zone with a four-seam fastball. Has a slider and a changeup. Fowler drills one into center. 
Hamilton will pick it up. Fowler on his way to second. The throw there is late. It's a stand-up double. Well, there you go. Opportunity to strike first. Lead-off double, Fowler. And you got to make sure you really push it hard out of the box because Hamilton, because of his speed, one, gets the ball quicker than most. And he's got a very strong arm as well. Starlin Castro hitting second for the first time this season. This is his sixth different spot in the batting order. He has not hit third, eighth, and ninth. But everywhere else, ball one. So a little bit of a different look for the Cubs offense here in game two. The 1 0 from Singrani. This is inside. Two balls, no strikes. 29 career starts coming in for Singrani. 34 relief appearances. ERA about the same. Around three and a half. One and three. And Ten career outings, including six starts against the Cubs. Grounder to third, picked up by Frazier. Fowler's got a hold at second. One out. I wonder if you're wondering what the keys to the game are. Well, they're brought to you by Mercedes. Well, how about control of Otto and Frazier? We showed you the numbers in the open. They've been scorching. And uh, a return to form for Anthony Rizzo would be welcome for sure. Chris Bryant. Has been scuffling. He's off in the nightcap. Kyle Schwarber not in there. This would be a good time for Big Riz to get hot. Yeah, crunched the numbers a bit between games. So he's over 13 in the series. He's left 10 men on base. This is only the second time all season. He's had a hitless stretch reach three games. Yeah, he has been remarkably consistent, and it's not like he's having horrible at bats right now. He's hit some balls hard. You can tell he's he's definitely pressing a little bit, showing signs of frustration. Over near the side wall, Frazier does not have a play on his All-Star teammate. Like Todd Frazier was maybe apologizing to the photographers over there. He's a thoughtful guy. So the other day, he had been asked by one of the Reds beat writers about the fact that he hadn't walked in a while. And he, after the game, told the beat writer, hey, I was thinking about you when I walked tonight. And I want you to write that. I'll show him. No, I think he said it in a good way. Yeah, yeah, you, know, yeah, you, just yeah, you asked me about it, and yeah. I was thinking, yeah, he just asked me about it, and I, I took a walk. The one-two from Singrani. An easy fly to left, although with the sun where it is right now, not an easy play as Bird makes the grab. Yeah, with this six o'clock local start, the left fielders are gonna have to deal with that for another hour or so at least. Yeah, we saw it a little bit early in the ball game last night, but that was a seven o'clock start. You see the shadows creeping across the infield too, so sometimes that's an issue for the hitters. Strike called on Jorge Soler hitting cleanup. 0 for 4 earlier today with three strikeouts to snap a six game hitting streak. Fowler, but now two gone.
Here it comes. Singrani thought it was strike three. Trying to buy one as he shoots for the outside corner. When the old pitchers shuffle and go, but Manny Gonzalez would have none of it. Our Xfinity pitch tracks showing you the location. Inside. Oh, walking off that time, too. Oh, you know, some umpires take umbrage with this little move here. I think you're showing them up. And a little peek over at the uh, Reds dugout by Gonzalez. Three and two. I'm pretty sure if Bruce Freming were back there after that one that was well out of the strike zone, he would have looked at him. You're going to walk off now? Bounces to the second baseman, Ivan De Jesus Jr. to end the inning. Cubs threaten and leave a man in scoring position. Green, green, gotta go to green. The best new Chevy deals are in the house. The green Chevy powerhouse. Drive a new Chevy with 0% financing for 72 months and no payments till fall. Drive a new 2015 Chevy Cruze, only $14,998. Or a new Malibu for just $18,998. Even a new Equinox for only $29,998. Don't worry about your credit. We finance your future, not your past, at the Green Chevy Powerhouse. You gotta go green. Green, green, gotta go to the green. Choosing from the $4 menu is not for the indecisive. Incredible values await. Behold the original double steak burger meal. The taco salad and chili cheese footlong meals. The garlic double steak burger meal. What's that sound, master? Kung Fu Elbow. Try it. The $4 menu, where all meals are under $4. At Steak and Shake. This is a national health alert from Worldwide Medical. Are you on Medicare? And do you suffer from back or knee pain? Have you tried injections, pain pills, or even had or considered surgery? If these examples apply to you or a loved one in pain, stop. There is a better way. You could qualify to receive a pain-relieving back or knee brace at little or no cost to you. You'll receive free information, free delivery, and all the insurance paperwork is handled for free. Best of all, there is little to no cost to you for the braces. Call 1-800-437-6392 to get all the details. It takes just a couple of minutes. These amazing braces have helped thousands of people in severe pain, and you may qualify to have yours delivered directly to your door at little or no cost to you. Call 1-800-437-6392 right now. This may be the most important call you make all year. That's 800-437-6392. Call now. It's brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Hamilton, Votto, Frazier at the top. Bruce, Pena, Bird in the middle. Bruce did not play in game one. Suarez, De Jesus, Singrani. And Dallas, Beeler, 6'5", right-hander. Ready to work. Hamilton, since mid-May, has largely hit in the bottom of the order. Got a hurry. Yeah, no chance. I got it. You take it. I don't think it would have mattered. No, I don't think so either. That's the thing with Hamilton. He's so fast, it doesn't have to be a perfect bunt. A halfway decent bunt. He's going to put a lot of pressure on you. And Imagine uh, Brian Price and some of the folks over there in the home dugout have told him, uh, hey, you know what, you need to do this a little more often. Game on now as he'll be looking to steal. But a beautiful bunt just pushes it out there, deadens it. Yeah, he's had a good couple of uh, days here, hasn't he, after uh, some extra work yesterday, not in the lineup, but had two hits late last night. One for four, two RBIs in game one today, and... On base in the first inning here tonight. Well, Dallas Beeler, originally a 41st round draft pick. He has defied the odds as you look at his numbers from his one start here this year. Injured earlier in the year, had some shoulder issues, got off to a late start and then a slow start as he struggled to 
kind of settle in. But lately, much better down at Triple A. That's why he's gotten the call on two occasions now. Hamilton leaning. Delato, big opener. Three for four, homer, walk, three runs. And it's certainly, you know, obviously worth keeping an eye on, on Hamilton, but this early in the game, you don't want to focus too much of your attention there. You've got some dangerous hitters up. Not running, Votto missed it, two and one. Dallas will sit in the upper 80s for the most part with his fastball, relies on movement, goes east and west with two seamers running down and away from a lefty and cutters in on their hands. He'll throw a curveball and a split finger pitch as well. <laughs> Break for Beeler, two and two. Beeler, six five, two ten. Count three and two. Almost an automatic go here for Hamilton. Otto's got a good eye at the plate. Hamilton leads the majors in steals. And he was running. Yeah, and almost an automatic given that it'd be fouled off. Let's take a look at the Cubs defensively. It's brought to you by Toyota. Chris Denorfia back in Cincinnati. Uh, he's playing left in this ball game. Fowler, Solaire, center and right. Herrera for Bryant. Castro, Russell, Rizzo, Ross, and Beeler. You know what? Everybody in the Cubs lineup tonight has an R in their name. Oh. There he goes again. Ground ball through. Hamilton to third. First and third, nobody out. Castro playing well towards the bag and Herrera way off the line of third base so he had a legitimate shot at knocking that one down just couldn't quite get there in time and Hamilton who was moving with the pitch scurries over to third Todd Frazier went over 10 out of the break against Cleveland totally different story in this series fly ball Soler and Russell, and no play. Good effort as Addison took a little tumble. And the answer to the question is yes, you would want to catch that ball even though Billy Hamilton would tag up and score. Yeah, and Solaire would have wanted to keep him in the field of play. He had caught it and tumbled completely into the stands. Both runners would have been allowed to advance. As we saw last year when Anthony Rizzo made a catch in uh, Arizona. Shallow center. Fowler's got it. And everybody holds. Big first out for a ground ball pitcher. Setting up a possible double play here. Jay Bruce, who is not a ground ball hitter. It was more so last year because his knee was bothering him, but he's back to being Jay Bruce this year.
Hit hard, but they've got a shot at two here, and they do turn it. Four to six to three to end the threat. Nothing, nothing after one. Look at this webpage. You'll see our logo, Green Buick GMC. Buick GMC, the vehicles you and millions of Americans trust. Green, the people you trust to give you the best deal. Right now, all new 2015 GMC Sierra crew cabs are 9,000 off. Denali's, SLT's, SLE's. Plus, drive a new GMC Sierra 4x4 double cab, only $3.95 a month with zero down. That's right, zero down. Over 800 vehicles in stock, plus we'll buy from you, even if you don't buy from us, at Green Buick GMC. Green, green, gotta go to the green. The accident came without warning. Now you're injured. What you do next could cost you tens of thousands of dollars. Don't risk your family's future. You want more? All the money you deserve? Get it done. Call free right now and tell the insurance company you mean business. Call 800-800-5678. Hupie and Abraham right now. Choosing from the $4 menu is not for the indecisive. Incredible values await. Behold the original double steak burger meal. The taco salad and chili cheese footlong meals. The garlic double steak burger meal. What's that sound, master? Kung Fu elbow. Try it. The $4 menu, where all meals are under $4. At Steak and Shake. Beyond this blue hair lies another realm. My hair isn't really blue. My caramba. A realm full of... Uh, and... No, no, no. Where children never age. Ugh, the foul stench of youth. And donuts hold the key to the universe. Mm, donuts. Join us as we explore The Simpsons. Sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset. Ah! Weekdays at 5 on the Quad Cities CW. We are back. We are scoreless. Time now for the Volkswagen defensive play of the game. At least thus far. Think about pulling a rabbit out of the hat. First and third, nobody out. Weak pop up and then sharply hit. Nice double play started by Russell. Dallas Beeler dodges a bullet. We remain scoreless. Both teams miss an opportunity in the first. That's your Volkswagen defensive play of the game. And here is Krista Norfia. Looking at ball one low. Hitters will tell you that Tony Sangrani, even though he's on a real hard thrower, has a good fastball. He's got enough zip on him. He's very deceptive. Hides the ball well, kind of a low three-quarters arm slot. His issues in the past as a starting pitcher here, were, a lot of it had to do with efficiency, just high pitch count games, and he'd be up around 100 pitches through five innings, and they'd have to make an early move to the bullpen. That's, you know, in large part just due to the style of pitcher he is. Forcing fastballs up in the zone, a lot of foul balls, a lot of deep counts. He got him on strikes. So the whole key for Singrani is if he can settle in with his secondary pitches the slider and the changeup not rely on that four seam fastball quite so much he can probably be a little bit more efficient now bring up Addison Russell moved up to the sixth spot his last 10 games a 412 on base average eight hits and six walks Yeah, Cubs lead for the second wild card spot is down to a half game over the Giants who have a seven to one lead late bottom of the eighth in San Diego. They remain two up on the Mets a devastating loss today for New York in Washington. They had a chance to get within one game of the Nationals top the Eastern Division. They could not hold a late lead gave up three in the eighth and lost it four three. to third and the short hop not handled by Frazier. Oh, 
They could tell off the bat. It might present a bit of an issue for Frazier. It's clearly an error. But we got caught in between. Starts to rock back a little bit before charging. He who hesitates is lost. They gave him a base hit. Wow. Yeah. I'm taking care of their guy right there. I think that was a tough play, but hit right at him. Bob LaCorsio Auto Group Wild Card Race. At the moment, it's a three-team race for the second spot. That can change. So it's interesting. All these uh, websites that analyze, you know, the uh, cool standings and baseball, the fan grass baseball prospectus, they all give you the playoff probabilities based on current standings and you know, what's going to happen down the road. Yeah. Uh, despite the Cubs having this very small lead right now uh, they give them a 62 percent chance of making the postseason Ross in the air to deep right but playable for Bruce so um, my guess my question to you is is that based on the schedule the second half of the year or is it projected would... output of the current players on the roster I don't know. Maybe both. You know, because they do a lot of Pakota stuff, and they yeah. expect, you know, Chris Bryant's going to put up these kinds of numbers, Addison Russell, you know. Could be based on current run differential, where they'll end up at the end of the year. Dallas Beeler swings away, and this will end the inning. Scoreless after an inning and a half. 800 of the best deals are in the house. The green Chevy pre-driven powerhouse. Get a fully inspected pre-driven with 1.9% financing and no money down. Drive a 2015 200 Limited, a 2014 Malibu 2LT, or a 2014 Fusion SE. Your choice, just $16,994 or $257 a month with remaining factory warranty. We've got many vehicles under $8,000. We finance your future, not your past, at the number one green Chevy powerhouse. You gotta go to green. Green, gotta go to green. We are the Defiant. The ones who defy history. Defy family. Defy death. Gravity. In our demons. We defy weakness and wanderlust. We defy expectation and explanation. We defy haters. And heartbreak. We defy bad luck and bad blood. We defy to be ignored. To be bored. To be defined. This is our purpose. Our moment. Our choice. I Shake half price happy hour is upon us. One must train to awaken at 2 a.m. for hand dipped milkshakes. But there's another, another one dur during the day between 2 and 5 p.m. Happy hour just got happier. Get half price shakes now from 2 to 5 at Steak and Shake. Cubs baseball on ABC 7 is brought to you by Marvel's Ant-Man, now playing in theaters and IMAX 3D. Oh. Shudder every time I see the Ant-Man. Hanging out on the bridge. He can lift 20 times his own body weight. <laughs> Always likes a good picnic. <laughs> his, his superpower is organization. Three hits on the Tuesday for Brian Pena to snap an 0 for 16. That was the 13 inning affair. Fouled off one ball, one strike. And David Ross will hand deliver the next ball to the rookie Beeler.
Beeler can't get it. Bearhead play Herrera, and he throws it away. It does stay in play. So that's two blunt hits for the Reds. Hamilton and now Pena each yeah. to lead off an inning. Yeah, and Hamilton obviously with the speed. Pena not a speedy guy, but we've seen him do this in the past. It, 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 it seems like there's an inordinate number of kind of big-bodied catchers that are really good bunters. Heck of a drive by Herrera. But the throw is offline. It'll bring up Marlon Bird. Two out of ten in the set with a home run. Another Herrera. Oduble won the game for the Phillies today in the tenth inning. Five to four over Tampa Bay. Five and one since the All-Star break, and they'll hit Wrigley Field on Friday afternoon. So they've won consecutive series for the first time this year. Today, a rain out back on April 25th. Well, it's much nicer than it was yeah, back on that exactly. Saturday afternoon. If you're going to play two, this is a beautiful day to while away the hours at the ballpark. Cubs second doubleheader. They swept St. Louis July 7th at Wrigley, trying to get a split in this one. Thousand eight hundred seventeenth double header. I think we're going to have an evolution to the next level with day night double headers because of the unbalanced and early schedule mm -hmm. as Bird bounces to third it's foul and that is for instance the Cubs hosting two different teams on the same, same that would be yeah. fun wouldn't it yeah because we still have a game against Cleveland and Kansas City right mm -hmm. yeah Kansas and City do we have to just gonna run out of off days at some point did that not happen somewhere not too long I ago? It did. Maybe the Orioles. Hello? Off the outside. out in the first now first and second no outs yeah and I think maybe um, because he does most of his work east and west the, the cutters and the, and the sinkers if you maybe start dropping in some curveballs try to get ahead with the breaking pitch just give the hitters a little bit different look swing and a miss by Suarez the shortstop Two-run double in the first inning earlier today. Look out. That's in the center for a base hit. Pena's going to have to stop at third. Bases loaded. Nobody out for the eight-hitter, DeJesus. It's so important to locate when you when you don't have overpowering velocity. So he's got to find a way to get down around the knees a little bit more and uh, get in on some of these right-handed hitters to keep them honest to open up that outside corner. That's big picture. Little picture. He just got to get it out right now. Base is loaded. Nobody out. So the corner guys are in. They're going to play the the middle at double play depth. 
Actually, Herrera will back up a couple of steps. So really, Rizzo, the only guy who probably will fire home. Foul tip, strike one. Yeah, this is where, as an infielder, you go through that checklist. What do I do if I get this kind of a ball? If I'm moving to my left, do I, where do I go? If I'm moving to the right, slow roller, charge. That's what Herrera will, if it's slowly hit, Herrera will probably charge and throw home. Yeah, to his right, he can step on third. To his left, probably the second. Kind of like the one, two, three double play myself. Bouncer right back mm -hmm. to the pitcher. Here's a one, one. Now two and one. With Brandon Phillips in their lineup here in game two. The pitcher is on deck. Base hit right field. Pena's going to score. Bird will be held at third. They're still loaded, and it's 1-0 Cincinnati on the RBI single from Ivan De Jesus. Reds have got their hitting shoes on here today. hits as they scored nine times in the opener they already have five and have only made three outs strike to Singrani a situation like this if, if Rizzo gets the sense that DeJesus is drifting a little too aggressively off first base he might sneak in behind him there put a pickoff on with Ross now they're moving Anthony up in front of the bag Sembrani's so not a bad hitter, 196 in his career. Should be two. Bobble. Oh no, nobody retired. Be a 6 4 3. At the very least, they have to get it out. And it's now 2 0. Yikes. Mm. And Singrani will get an RBI. I can't assume the double play if you're the official score, so he gets credited with an RBI. And Starlin just peaked. Fairly well tailor made. Still nobody out. Beeler's got to dial up a triple play ball here. Goffs it to deep right. Soler is back on it. Going to be way over his head. Suarez is in. De Jesus scores. And the only reason Hamilton didn't hit a triple is because the pitcher is in front of him. It's 4-0. Still nobody out. This is the third four-run inning on the day for the Reds. It's a four-run first in the opener, four-run seventh, and now a four-run second and looking for more. And nobody up in the bullpen. Here comes Joe Madden. And I think this is conversation he'll have with everybody out there.
question here is you got a base open nobody out. And they will intentionally walk Votto. And that obviously could have been delivered from the dugout. So that, that was part of the message. But I think it's also part of part pep talk as well from Joe. Let's go, boys. Snap to it. Heads up. Keep competing. Got a lot of baseball yet to play. ABC7.com brought to you by Jeff Vukovic, your local nationwide agent serving the area for 37 years. To join the nation, contact Jeff at jeffvuk.com. Nationwide is on your side. Three on, no outs. Four runs in. That's did his. Uh, some similar damage to Kyle Hendricks in the first inning earlier today. Infield in. This is not a turn two spot. This is get the out at the plate. You got the pitcher at third, Singrani. Beeler's 1 0. Popped up on the infield. Infield fly rule in effect. So Frazier has not come through a couple of times in these RBI mm -hmm. spots. We contact both times. It'll pop up to shallow center. That Fowler caught him now. This little sand wedge out there to Russell. Bruce uh, hit into the double play last inning. have been one of the hottest hitters in baseball here in July. Topper to Beeler. He'll underhand to Rizzo. Run will score. Five nothing. I think the play was at home there. I think you're right. to his left hand on a little short hop and maybe just didn't feel comfortable. Well, it's a risk reward and you're already down four nothing. Right. It's probably worth trying, right? Yeah. Pitcher no. running? Yeah. Second and third, Pena takes a strike. He started the inning with a bunt single. Pitches as Beeler tries to 
get through the second inning. Russell will pick it up and finally it's over. Ten batters five runs later and it's five nothing Reds. is created every day at RME. The RME enjoys a unique niche in the Quad Cities and strives daily to maintain a vital presence through our mission as a nonprofit performing arts center, providing opportunities for the community to listen to, learn about, and play music. Name something you might like about living life as a woman. Have my own breasts. a whole new reality here on The Feud. Weeknights at 6 on the Quad City CW. The Family Guy. Weekdays at 5.30 on the Quad City CW. Choosing from the $4 menu is not for the indecisive. Incredible values await. Behold the original double steak burger meal. The taco salad and chili cheese footlong meals. The garlic double steak burger meal. What's that sound, Master? Kung Fu Elbow. Try it. The $4 menu, where all meals are under $4. At Steak and Shake. The Simpsons. Weekdays at 5 on the Quad Cities CW. Watch Chicago's number one news, ABC 7 Eyewitness News in the morning. Weekdays, 4.30 to 7 with Judy Sue and Terrell Brown. Singrani now working with a five to nothing lead. He'll face Herrera, Fowler, and Castro here in the Cubs third. So the Cubs have been outscored today 14 to 1. Starting both ends. Third base tonight, second base earlier. This is his 100th plate appearance of the season. His 48th game played. Got to stay patient here. I mentioned earlier that Sangrani at times has battled some control issues. Hamilton dives, can't get it. Herrera racing into second. He's got a double. The third begins as the first did for the Cubs. It was Fowler with the leadoff double to start the ball game. They were not able to cash that in. Obviously, have to take advantage of this opportunity down five. Leadoff double by the nine hole hitter. A gallant effort by Billy Hamilton. Strike one to Fowler. Last 31 plate appearances now. Ten hits. Seven walks for Dexter. Strike two. Dexter not happy with that call. Going to take a little time, and Manny Gonzalez is going to encourage him to get back in the box. Looked like he might have... Tweaked something. I think he asked for a second. Something with his right arm or hand. 
Slide step of the pitch, it's outside. See him flexing that right arm. to South Suburban College in South Holland, Illinois, and then Rice University in Houston. Third round pick of the Reds in 2011. for a one two swing and a miss strike three hey cup fans uh, don't miss your chance to catch the best matchups in baseball reserve your place in line for history in the making join the season ticket holder waiting list it's easy and it's free to register for details visit cubs.com slash waitlist Castro grounded out in the first Big error in the bottom of the second led to two unearned runs. knocked in four as Cleveland beat the Brewers seven to five that game was played in Milwaukee Adam Lind went four for five with four knocked in for the Brewers drilled out into left center that's going to score Herrera Castro on his way to second with an RBI double, five to one. There's a start. Trading places. Her a double and Castro very really got into this one. It's one of his best swings in a while. of the game for the Cubs and their fourth hit. Rizzo up and in. Lance Lynn, John Danks, Cardinals and White Sox tonight. Morton and Volquez, Pirates at the Royals. Swing and a miss, one and one. Piscotti made his major league debut last night for the Cardinals, one for four. And 
He's in there again tonight playing left. Matt Holiday DH him. Still among the best in baseball. You see where he ranks in the National League and on base, fourth. Same with doubles, slugging percentage, seventh. Tied for eighth with 16 long ones. Came in today leading the majors in on base average against lefties. He just got hit for the 20th time. Big chance, and it clearly Singrani uh, is gettable here tonight. He doesn't have very good command of his pitches. He's been hit 35 times the last two years. He's got the modern-day single-season record for the Cubs, and he's closing in on the all-time record. Solaire cuts and misses. I don't know if Anthony would agree, but I've talked to some hitters in the past who was just, when they're scuffling, say, I'm glad I got hit. I'm <laughs> just trying to find a way to get on. Well, it's only the third inning, but this is a very big at bat for Solaire. Giants a winner today in San Diego 7 1 that just went final. Cubs still have not played the defending world champs this season. We'll see them August 6th through the 9th four games at Wrigley Field and then in San Francisco, August 25th through the 27th. Three and one. That's Denorfia on deck. He walked in. They're loaded. Double hit batter walk. One run in already. He is uh, teetering on the edge here. Singrani. Mike Lake gave the Reds eight innings uh, this afternoon, so bullpen an opportunity to recover after the 13 inning game last night. to Denorfia, foul strike. Looked pretty dire about 10 minutes ago. The Cubs were down five nothing, but all of a sudden, the window has opened. You know, a lot of times hitters will get past it when a guy's struggling with his control. You don't want to go up there looking to take pitches. You're ready to hit. And if he challenges the strike zone, respond. And Orphe with a good swing at that first fastball, fouled it off. Then he yanks this one into the left field corner. And the Cubs are in business. 
Tying runs in scoring position for Russell. And about as tough a position as you can be in as a manager when it comes to your starting pitcher. You had a big lead. You're only in the third inning and you're trying to figure out <laughs> can I afford to stick with this guy? I'm going to have to yeah. use seven pitchers to get through this right. game. Normally, the guy you would call on in this situation, you're not particularly high on anyway. Yeah, you're a long guy. Three and one. Check in with our Xfinity pitch tracks. Did they get the inside corner? Probably not. Looked inside. Meantime, Travis Wood throwing in the Cubs bullpen. Strike three. Big punch out for Singrani. And they're going to put David Ross on and See if uh, Joe Madden was just bluffing with Travis Wood up in the pen. And it looks like Chris Bryant. Was no, Beeler. Beeler out. Bryant was moving around down there, grabbing a helmet and a bat. It's not guaranteed to be Beeler just yet. to do that. He, he's got a, a catcher who hits a 171 at the plate against his struggling starter. He decided to force Joe's hand. Bryant will bat, and I got to believe he'll stay in the game as well. You like the move by Price? Walking Ross there? No, I mean, would you have done that? Knowing probably not, no. That this could have happened, no. I mean, some managers will tell you they feel like there's always value in getting into the other team's bullpen. There's the 1 0 to Bryant. And for Joe, it's a no brainer to. To use Chris. Yeah, he's been pretty good in this spot. Very small sample size. Two balls, no strikes. Here's the pitch. Missed again, 3-0. Well, there's two things that work here. One, Brian will take a walk, and, and Sigani's having a hard time finding the strike zone. And and two, you, you, you know, Chris has been in between a lot lately, kind of guessing. Not a whole lot of guesswork here because Zagrani hasn't commanded anything, so he's going to throw him a lot of fastballs. Three and one. 
I would have liked to see him come out of his shoes on that one. Three and two. This pitch. Here it comes. Base hit left field. Soler scores. Denorfia scores. We're tied. A five run third. How about that? That'll be it for Singrani. <laughs> the mood has changed. In that third base dugout. Wow. Buckle in, folks. We're still going in the top of the third. Five runs in. If you want to shed the fat and sculpt your core to get those sexy toned abs of your dreams, then stop doing sit ups. Say what? and start dancing with Hip Hop Abs, the fun new ab sculpting system from insanity creator Sean T. I don't want you to ever get down on the floor to do crunches again. I'm gonna break it down so you burn the fat and sculpt those abs fast. Just do Sean's easy to follow moves to work your upper abs, middle abs, lower abs, and obliques, all while you're dancing. I went from a size 18 to a size two. I have abs now, I've got a six pack. And now the complete eight dollar hip-hop abs system is 75 percent off that's right hip-hop abs is only 19.95 we'll even upgrade you to express shipping free get the complete hip-hop abs system for only 19.95 call 1-800-628-9407 or order online at gethiphopabs.com that's 1-800-628-9407 call now Devin is brought to you by Xfinity, your home for the most live sports. By Southwest Airlines, book your low fare now at southwest.com. By Toyota, see where Toyota takes you. Test drive one at your Toyota dealer. Toyota, let's go places. And by the Bob LaCorsio Auto Group, you're going to like buying a car this way. Short night for both starting pitchers, Beeler and Singrani. And it's right-hander Pedro Villarreal. A 5-5 tie. Manager's going to have to piece it together out of the bullpen the rest of the way as the uh, 26 men called up from the minor leagues get roughed up here this evening. Villarreal, 1-3 with a 5-23 earned run average, working for the 14th time. He's been very hittable. League batting 365 against him. He has not been much of a strikeout pitcher either. Fastball, slider, a cutter, and a changeup. Well, Brian Price called Joe Madden's bluff, and it did not pay off as after the intentional walk to David Ross, Joe went with Chris Bryant. And he tied the game with a two run single. Here's Herrera. Bryant takes off for second, and he's going to get the bag without a throw. I am guessing, especially if Herrera makes his final out, that. Bryant would just stay in and play third. The pitcher spot would be the nine spot in the order. But we'll see. Second five run inning of the season. And both have come here in the month of July. And I think they did it without Schwarber. Right. <laughs> yeah, they still have that secret weapon on the bench. Foul. They went with the, the veteran. Yeah, the more disciplined uh, KG veteran hitter to come off the bench. The salty vet 
Chris Bryant. Good night for the concessions here. Not so much for the pitchers. Oh, they almost smoked that bird. Something came flying out of the Reds' dugout. There's a bird roaming around there in front of their yeah. dugout in the on-deck circle. Looking for Marlin. Yeah, bird on deck. challenge the everyday players. It's been a long day at the ballpark already and there's a lot of baseball yet to be played. Chance to take the lead. Runners at second and third five in already. Ride for Singrani just off the DL to make this start. He had been out for a month with a strained left shoulder. Fly ball right center drifting over is Bruce. So the Reds got five and the Cubs answered right back in the following half inning. It's time to go. degree from Kaplan University. Visit upgrade.kaplan.edu. Two things make the best online driving deals. The Chevy Drive and the Green Deal. Over 800 online. Save 11,000 on a new Silverado Crew Cab with All-Star Custom Sport Truck Package. Or 10,000 on a new Silverado Double Cab with All-Star Custom Sport Truck Package. Get 0% financing for 72 months on new Chevys. Plus, no payments till fall at the number one Green Chevy and GreenCC.com. Where we finance your future, not your past. You gotta go to Green. Green, Green, gotta go to Green. Go back to school with High V and these college dorm room deals. Fabric storage totes and laundry bins are 15% off. Stacking crates are just $5. True single serve coffee maker, only $39.99. Stylish sheets, comforters, and blankets, just $15 to $20. Camelback Eddy or shoot water bottles, only $12.99. Plus his and her essentials like razor, shaving cream, deodorant, toothpaste, body wash, and shampoo on sale this week during our best back to school week, only at High V. Let's take a look at the Ford upcoming schedule. Keep it a PC, man. Phillies and Cubs this weekend, 3 o'clock on Friday and Saturday. 1 o'clock for the airtime Sunday. ABC 7 has games 2 and 3. Well, and 
that special. Crazy ball game. Travis Wood takes over for Dallas Beeler. Five and three, 455. Numbers better as a reliever than they were as a starter. Dallas Beeler tonight. Two innings, six hits, five runs, three of which were earned, walked a couple. Bryant stays in. He's at third for Herrera. Well, there's your off night, Chris. Hope you enjoyed it. Foul tip. Marlon Bird, strike one. Tomorrow's an off day. You can rest up tomorrow. Nothing in two. Let's move into the pen. Travis Wood has been very fastball centric. He still throws his cutter, but uses that four seamer more frequently. And he'll throw a little two seamer, try to run it away from the right handed hitters. Joe has encouraged him to use his fastball, and he has complied. So this is uh, three days in a row for him for the first time. Didn't pitch earlier today, but he got two outs Monday, inning and a third last night. Night to be on the water. count three and two Suarez on deck muscled in the left third around first he's trying for two going to be a play there he is out the Northia got him Side fastball and Bird tries to take the extra base to Norfield. A good, strong, accurate throw. Good pick on the one hop by Russell. And Bird, he doesn't want to leave the infield. He's waiting for a challenge, and here's why. The th tag was up on the back leg. He thought he got the front foot in early enough. The Reds awaiting a word from the video boys. Bird's still on the field out base hit seven to four on the put out yeah pretty big out kind of want to stop some of this nonsense right <laughs> too much traffic here the last couple of innings all one to Suarez Ooh. Pretty good pitch. Yeah, I'm with you, David Ross. I'd be turning around, too. Foul to left. Game Travis Wood worked an inning and a third, allowed two hits. They were on base when he left. They both came in to score, so charge to him. Two thirds scoreless the game before. Remember
remember Monday night when I said five runs will not be enough to win this game. Yeah. Tonight I mean it. Yeah. We can say it with conviction here tonight. Change up, not close enough to get Suarez to bite. The uh, Reds are off tomorrow as well. Then they head out to Colorado for a three-game series, then on to St. Louis. Most of the focus around the Reds is going to be what are they going to do with the trade deadline nearing? Who will not be a Cincinnati Red the next time we see these guys? He got him. Several candidates. Suarez won't be able to complain that he didn't get anything to swing at. Strike called on De Jesus. Floated to right. Solaire on the move, and he'll play it on a bounce. Devon two for two. Friday, the Cubs take on the Phillies. First pitch is at 3.05. First 10,000 fans at the ballpark will receive a Billy Williams a replica statue presented by Pepsi. For more information, visit Cubs.com. Villarreal is uh, one for three in his career. Too early to pinch hit for him. It's basically a fresh start for the managers. It's a tie ball game. They've gone to the bullpen. Now they've got to see how much they can get out of each of these guys. Brian Price once played for Joe Madden many, many years ago. In the Angels organization. Pops out of the mid of Ross, but runner holds. on 14 hits combined and we're only in the third inning. Called strike three and that will end the Reds third. 5-5 five, five, we're tied. When we created the Silverado Rally Edition we figured why stop there? 
These four new Silverado Special Editions are just the beginning. From the fastest growing full size pickup brand of 2015, Chevy Silverado. Or choose the Silverado All Star with a total value of 8,000 when you finance through select lenders. And find your bonus tag and get 2,000 cash allowance on select Silverado crew cabs in stock. We are the Defiant. The ones who defy history, defy family, defy death, gravity, and our demons. We defy weakness and wonderlust. We defy expectation and explanation. We defy haters. And heartbreak. We defy bad luck and bad blood. We defy to be ignored. To be bored. To be defined. This is our purpose. Our moment. Our choice. service in town. But U.S. Cellular offers 4G LTE we you just wouldn't expect it. So you can watch your shows. Way out here! Stream your music. Way, way, way out here! Or check Facebook. Way, 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 out here. Pretty awesome, huh? With U.S. Cellular, now the middle of nowhere is the middle of anywhere. Being brought to you by Mercedes-Benz. Check out our exciting model lineup by visiting your local authorized Mercedes-Benz dealer or visit us today at mbusa.com. Wild and crazy here in Cincinnati, five to five. We've got a long way to go. If you're a pitcher, you say this game is for the birds. Castro Rizzo. Double and a strikeout for Dexter. Outfielder Anthony Giansanti. You heard this story. Mm -hmm. Would you like to tell it? No. The ticket list uh, story? Yes. No. Okay. Uh, every night, I think he's at Iowa, right? Iowa Cubs. He leaves yes, two so. tickets for MMA fighter Ronda Rousey. Apparently, he's a fan. And he sends out a tweet. That's right. That says, you know, tickets are waiting for you. Right. Here's the game time. Here's where we're playing. as Castro pops to the shortstop. Uh, she has not replied or shown up. Yeah. Who was it who used to leave tickets for Elvis? Jerry Glanville. Jerry Glanville. Coaching the NFL, yeah. He knew that Elvis had died in the 70s, right? Yeah, I think so. But he was, he was hopeful. You know, he probably seen a story in the Inquirer or something that Elvis was living on an island somewhere, and he was always hopeful that the king would come back. In the air, Bird is going to make this a real quick inning. A rarity so far in this one. Five to five in the fourth. The world is a dangerous place. If you show me anything, I said the city is more than safe in your hands. All of your hands. 
fear started something. Something strong enough to live on past you. Question is, can you live? What will this become? Arrow. Tonight at 9 on the Quad Cities CW. Get registered for the Color Me Happy 5K Run sponsored by Walgreens, September 19th in Rock Island. The event will benefit the Arc of the Quad Cities area. And this fun and colorful run will put a smile on your face and a splash of color on everything while helping out individuals living with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Grab your friends and register now for the Color Me Happy 5K Run sponsored by Walgreens to help support the Arc of the Quad Cities area, September 19th. To find out more, go to ourquadcities.com. This is a national health alert from Worldwide Medical. Are you on Medicare? And do you suffer from back or knee pain? Have you tried injections, pain pills, or even had or considered surgery? If these examples apply to you or a loved one in pain, stop. There is a better way. You could qualify to receive a pain-relieving back or knee brace at little or no cost to you. You'll receive free information, free delivery, and all the insurance paperwork is handled for free. Best of all, there is little to no cost to you for the braces. Call 1-800-437-6392 to get all the details. It takes just a couple of minutes. These amazing braces have helped thousands of people in severe pain, and you may qualify to have yours delivered directly to your door at little or no cost to you. Call 1-800-437-6392 right now. This may be the most important call you make all year. That's 800-437-6392. Call now. Sports Clips. It's good to be a guy. It's good to be a guy. With hair. <laughs> Wood to Hamilton. Five to five in the fourth. Pinching at the corners. Tightened up in the outfield. Doesn't hit it over your head very often. I thought you are giving haircut instructions. <laughs> Little off the top. It's the corners. Hamilton, a switch hitter, 230 from the right side. Two of his three home runs as a right-handed batter. Phillips has been batting leadoff in this series, but he's got this game off, so Hamilton returns to the top of the order. And he's done his job tonight on base both times up. Yeah, I think he's earned this tonight with uh, some good at-bats last couple of days. And ideally with his speed, this is exactly where he would hit, but he just has not reached base often enough so far in his career. And he's not going to reach that time as he strikes out swinging. The Sunday, the Cubs will wrap up their three-game set with the Fightin' Phils. Game time is 120. First 5,000 kids will receive a Cubs replica batting helmet presented by Advocate Children's Hospital. At the end of the game, the first 1,000 kids, 13 and younger, with appropriate wristbands, will be allowed on the field to run the bases, weather permitting. For more information, visit Cubs.com. Check in with uh, Eyewitness uh, Weather. And they'll let you know what the weather's going to look like for the weekend. Jerry Taft and uh, Cheryl Scott. One and one on Joey Votto. Joey has that look like he's never thrown me that pitch before. Seen a lot of this guy. Didn't expect that.
Garfia. Can't quite get there. Votto on all three times. He has put on a two strike clinic today. Yep. Use the hands. Shorten the stroke. with men on base in his first two at bats making outs and not advancing anybody on DeVry University League leaderboard Fowler and Frazier among the top five in runs two and oh slugfest in Colorado Texas beating the Rockies today ten to eight Rudnett Odor, three for four, scored four times. That's deep. Fowler going after it. And he makes a catch right up against the bullpen fence. Chance to double off Votto, throw the first late. Votto had gotten all the way around second. Nicely done by Dexter Fowler. Traveled a long way to get this one. One last peek to find the wall before securing the baseball. One heck of a play. Well, that's a slam on the brakes. Do the curly shuffle and scramble back to first. So two outs. That was a loud one. It looked like he hit it with one hand. How strong is that guy? Strike on Jay Bruce. On a bounce to Bryant. He's going to throw a first as Russell was shifting, getting over as they strand one. 5-5 five, five after four. Two and a half men presents Manly Rules of the House. Number 30, think before you drink. Can I have some of that? Beer? No. Why not? Well, it's like this. Alcohol is for people who can afford to lose a few brain cells. Yeah, so? I rest my case. It's Two and a Half Men. A full hour, weeknights at 9 on the Quad Cities CW. The city is more than safe in your hands. All of your hands. You're starting something. Something strong enough to live on past me. Tonight at 9 on the Quad Cities CW. Hey, Jimmy, do we have time for one more round before... <laughs> Please tell me that wasn't my mother. Significant mother. August 3rd on the Quad Cities CW. The flock returns to the Quad City Botanical Center this summer for our Flamingo Follies exhibit, now through July 31st. We want you to bring the whole family out to enjoy an exhibit of artistically altered pink plastic lawn flamingos designed by over 60 area artists. As you enjoy the flamingos, be sure to vote for your favorites for the People's Choice Awards. To find out more about the Flamingo Follies exhibit, visit ourquadcities.com. Meet the eligible bachelors of Seinfeld. George. My name's Buck Naked. I'm a porno writer. Jerry. I'm single, I'm thin, and I'm neat. And Kramer. I can't get my pants off. They'll stop at nothing. My name is George. I'm unemployed and I live with my parents. To make an impression. Are you sure you don't want me to take my clothes off? No, I'll do it. A little respect, for I am Costanza, Lord of the Idiots. Seinfeld, tonight on the Quad Cities CW. The Family Guy, weekdays at 5.30 on the Quad Cities CW. Watch Chicago's number one news, I, uh, Eyewitness News on ABC7. Weeknights at 10 with Ron Majors, Kathy Brock, Cheryl Burton, Jerry Taft, and Mark Jean Greco.
five five fifth inning. I think he wants to be a catcher. He's missing the mask. He Kinda knows like Rocco is banged up. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. It could have been Kyle Schwarber about uh, 15 years ago. One and zero on Jorge Soler. Starters long gone. Singrani went two and two thirds. Beeler two. That's it. Mike Leak went eight innings for the Reds in the opener. Kyle Hendricks survived six. So not too much work from the bullpen off day tomorrow. Will help the bullpens recover for the weekend series. Good action on that fastball. Two seamer with a lot of run. The Real, 27 years old. One in Edinburgh, Texas. Went to Howard College, seventh rounder, 2008. Lofted into right. One out. Here Real has faced five. He's retired all of them, and four in the air. Do you want the scoreboard stumper? Let's have it. Uh, since 1980, okay, there have been five Reds, left-handed batters, five left-handed hitting Reds who have had 30 home run seasons. Adam Dunn. Strike on DeNorfia. Ken Griffey Jr. Mm -hmm. They're both on my list. They haven't posted the answer yet. Oh. Okay. I'm just I wrote down my answers. Well, so the two far. on the two came immediately to mind, and I have to I gotta think about it a little more. Were O'Neill and Morris. Were they on your list? I put O'Neill on my list. Okay. He's the one I'm not convinced of. Okay. Since 1980? Since 1980. Dave Parker? Ooh, that's a Two of mine are more recent. Sean Casey? I don't have him I don't on think my he list. Hit 30. I don't think he had 30. But. Who else you got? Votto and Bruce. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't thinking current. We do that, right? We always kind of turn back into the, yeah. into the bath. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Votto and Bruce. Okay, so I didn't have to come up with as many as I thought. So I would put Parker, Dunn, Junior, Griffey Jr. Junior, I think that's it. Yeah. Out of 28. Yeah. We'll have to come up with a Cub centric trivia question here for an inning or two down the road. Never even thought about a current red. You like my Dave Parker? It was a good call, yeah. The Cobra. Very hard. Bare-headed play, Frazier. Nicely done. And that'll end the inning. Five to five. It's time to go.
Thanks. Upgrade your career with a master's degree from Kaplan University. Visit upgrade.kaplan.edu. You want to feel connected at one with your world. Informed, included, and inspired. So no matter where you are, when important things happen, we're here at all hours, in the moment, on every screen in your life. Your local TV and radio broadcasters, we investigate and inform, give back to the community, build the local economy, even save lives. America's number one source for news, weather, and information. And unlike any other news source, we're here, 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 and here. We are broadcasters, always here for you, wherever here may be. Text TV to 52886. Tell Washington local stations matter.